Welcome to the Kaibo. Let's get right to it. We're at Deep Forest Raceway in reverse, and I've qualified in P10. I have not done as much practice as I should have for this race, and I did zero research on the strategies. So away we go, and I'm going to survive this first lap. So the strategy is, I have to use medium and soft tires. It's a 16 lap race. I don't know how fuel is going to go. Uh, we're kind of winging it here. I uh, sat down and just had time to get in, do a few laps before the race. I did do some other practice prior to that, uh, however, uh, not really enough to become totally comfortable with the track. Uh, as for the tires, I really don't have any choice other than to start with the soft and go as many laps as I can because uh, I'd prefer to start with the medium but I just don't know how many laps the soft can go and I don't want to shortchange myself so I'll just wear these soft tires out and then switch over to uh, to the mediums and finish the race that way and then if there's any need for fuel at that time I'll take care of that. So we're uh, sticking with uh, ninth, eighth, seventh, the uh, whole line of cars here, and just getting our bearing, getting rid of those first lap jitters, and moving on. I, I really enjoy this track in both directions. I've raced this car at this track before, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, but again, not totally fluid here. Uh, moving ahead to lap three, I'm getting really on that apron there. I, that's something I learned the last time I raced here. If you remember that video, I did get uh, overtaken right there because somebody else did that and I didn't. So now I've learned something, haha. -ha. So I'm up to P9. I think I got that position because somebody spun. And trying to lumber my way through this technical section. I feel like the Mercedes is kind of a lumbering car, but it forces you to be, to be smooth. And smooth is fast. And when you hit it right, boy, it feels so good. I really love this car. Moving ahead once again to lap five. A little bit of trouble up here. These two getting into it, and I'm just trying to figure out my way through the chaos. I do lose a position, but I gain two, so it's a net gain of one. You do the math. Okay, hoping I could stick with this guy a little closer, but that's not happening right now. We're up to P8, and that's okay. The idea here is that when you yeah, you go through there, you hit that apron, and get on the accelerator as soon as possible. That uh, is the plan, anyway. Okay, now somebody was in the pits there, and they noticed uh, something. They know something I don't. Um, they're going in on, on lap six. That means perhaps that uh, the tires can last a, uh, a good... 10 or 11 laps, so I'm expecting after that was not pretty, I know, I know, just pretend it didn't happen. Uh, I, I guess these soft tires can go 10 or 11 laps, and we shall see. But along begins a, a period of, of a lot of grinding it out up to lap 12 now, and I think I've decided this is where I come into the pits. Um, looking at the tire wear, it's not too bad. I could probably go longer. I don't know. My last lap was my fastest lap of the race, so the tires can't be all that bad. But I think it's probably time. I don't know how much longer I want to really take the chance of staying out and really having crummy tires, so I will pit here. In and out, get tires. Don't need fuel. That worked itself out. That's good. And back out on the track now. I do stay on the grass as this one more person overtakes me. And I'm back to P8. 
which is probably where about I was when all the pitting started, so I don't know if I gained or lost anything. I pretty much feel this is where I belong. Uh, we'll try to do something with it, but a lot of space ahead of me, and on to lap 13 now. We have this, I think it's a McLaren behind me, and he has a run on me. If I had half a brain, I would have gone defensive there, made him go around the outside, which would have been a little more difficult, but no, I just had to let him go by. And then this guy also squeaks on by as I'm on the outside, kind of hoping I could get a cut back there, but no, he never showed up, so I'll just stick with him down the straight. And I don't really have enough of a run to make a move on him, so maybe just a little kiss here to help us both catch up with P8. Somebody's on the inside there, so I couldn't quite hit the apex, and it looks like he's not able to get by me. So I'm holding on to P10, not uh, exactly where I want it to be. Here we're going to advance once again to the second to last lap right next to me on my right. We have somebody there. And I think uh, somebody spun again so I got past somebody into ninth place last lap coming around the final corner it looks like we're gonna finish it in ninth not a spectacular race but I do appreciate you being here for it surprise surprise at the end two people failed to use both tires and they each got a one minute penalty that moves us up to seventh which moves us from the losing a few driver rating points to gaining a few driver rating points. So I'll take it. I appreciate you being here. If you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button. It would help me. I'd appreciate it very much, and I will see you next time.